just tripping. And then we shall find the me bro for the film. Manum team, it in me bro for the bakakra. And then they move on to the name of the rest of the country. Madam, okay, I'm listening to you. Okay, as a lady from South Africa, I follow your craft. Isn't that doesn't that make curious? How do I follow your your craft? Why do you speak entry and I don't even understand anything? So you need it. to tell me more. Ask how how me. no? How, how do you follow the page and then understand whatever we discuss on the page? How do you do this? You know what? Um, for me, what got me interesting to be interested in your craft is because of your captions most of times. Because okay. you mostly you write in English, mm -hmm. so that's how I got hooked with interesting topics that you would have. And another thing that did help me it's um, most of um, your people they they comment in English, mm -hmm. so I would understand what's the con the, the contents the context that at that time. Oh, okay, so you understand our programs based on the captions yes. and then the comment section mm -hmm. oh okay okay yes okay. that's how i started following you and mm. then sometimes i would love obvious sometimes you post things that are in english and then i would understand more what is it all about mm -hmm. so that's how i started to follow you i see jordan alumenu jordan is asking you what is new uh jordan the whole new sister is with me interview to the whole new part ak also, what you will be a party, Kim Chantibu, Michel, Lisa to four Michel, Phyllis, and Philip Sebus, Michel, Nati Michel. I'm just greeting the family, and that's a usual thing. You said you follow my page, so you know the rules already. Yeah, yeah, of course. Uh, okay, so now, yes. now the platform is yours. This is my platform, but I've given it to you for today. Yeah, yeah. What is your problem? There, there are certain <laughs> things that I, I'm mm -hmm. curious um, okay. to know, so I hope you will answer me the best way you know how. Yeah. The first thing I want to know who is James Sporting? I bet I say I'm a child. James Boatin is a name. Uh, I am born in Ghana from Ashanti region. Okay. Uh, Obwasi, to be specific. Yeah. What is what is Ashanti? If you could if, if you could help me with that, because there was a day I heard you talking about Ashanti and I was like, what is that? Is it is it a tribe? Is it a cult? Is and as and as Kwanza says hi. Hi, hello. Uh, I, I better I better say I should tell you uh, her about you. Uh, I better is the ses, ses teacher on this platform. Uh, she's a she's a ses doctor. Oh, okay, interesting. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Ashanti is a kingdom. Okay. Ashanti kingdom. Uh, if you type it on the internet, you just see the king. That's a uh, tune for or say to two. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so Ashanti is a kingdom. Yeah, I would say a kingdom. Can it's I not. It's not just a. It's just. They're just a group of people. I mean, it's a collective. Uh, we have sixteen regions in Ghana, okay. and I believe most of the sixteen regions, most of them are in yeah, Ashanti. Ashanti. Yeah, so. so, as a as a South African woman or whoever who's a South African who would want to join, is it something that it's limited within you Ghanaians or anyone who wants to be part of it can be one? You just need to respect the king, and also. Uh, we, we call something Sikaja. Okay. Sounds like a cult when you say that. No, no, no. <laughs> Sikaja. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we worship Sikaja. We assume Sikaja. That is, we worship Sikaja. So if you respect our kin. And then how will one like me, hmm. who doesn't know what to do and what, what not to do within the kingdom, is there anyone who would teach me those things? Is there a cause to do that or... I will just have to do it the research. You said you wanted to know more about me, so you came close to me to interview me, so you can know me more, right? Okay. So if you want to know the Ashantis, you need me. to get close to them and learn their ways. Okay. Thank you so much for that. Okay. And I want to know, um, how long have you been in South Africa now? In South Africa. Mm. I'm just here two months, one month, I'm in and out like this. Okay. And how, how has it been treating you so far? South Africa is a great place. Yes, yeah, nice place. Nice weather. Mm -hmm. The weather uh, is the, the behavior of the weather is that of the mindset of South Africans, you know. <laughs> it, it switches, you know, it switches. They can decide to loot a shop within two seconds, okay. and they can decide to fill in back within two seconds. So, the weather is, is, is like the mindset of South Africans. South Africans, yeah. you mean that they, 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 they're not stable? Is that what no, you mean? Yeah, their minds is, uh, I don't know who you I don't know. Oh. <laughs> Maybe somebody is operating their mind somewhere. So sometimes it switches and then, you know. 
My yeah. South Africans, are you listening to Echo Number? What is he saying? But anyway, so what are your challenges that you've encountered in South Africa? Like, because mostly everybody in the world they know that we have a high rate of unemployment and we have a high rate of crime, and then we have this thing that is called load shedding. So I need to understand your challenges. Have you been in a situation where you corrupt that you're not safe? And how do you cope with the load shedding because of the line of work that you do? It needs you to have lights all the time. A lot of people die on desert, but people live on desert. Hmm. You understand? People travel to Libya, travel to Italy, to the desert. They die on the desert, mm. but some is living there. Somebody has his house, family, there on the desert. Okay. So South Africa, the crime rate is high. But you are living here. You are not hurt, okay? Yeah. I'm here. I'm not hurt. Mm -hmm. It depends on where I go. If you want to be hurt, you know where you go. You will get hurt. Okay. You understand? And then talking about um, how I feel about South Africa, the load shedded. You understand? You even have a timetable. I think you started. How, uh, for how long have you been? Since uh, okay, this is how. This thing it happened. We were introduced. We were introduced to load shedding two o nine because of we had a, a World Cup. Okay, that so was so two o nine, and then they told us it, it was a temporal thing. Okay, so it so that it started from two o nine. Two o twenty ten to be precise. That's when it. Started. So how many like years it now? It wasn't toxic as it is now. So how many years now? It's been over ten years. Over ten years, yeah. load shedding. Yeah. Okay, okay. So that's the only issue because it's affecting jobs. You know. Yeah, but still, I'm working. And when you came, you no, you just need to get yourself a plant. Okay. So when the light goes off, you switch. Okay. All right. Yeah. Um, but why, why are you guys not crying or complaining or insulting the government uh, about the light, the low shed for 10 years? You know, with my country, I'm sorry that I, I want to, to laugh about this, but it's so crazy that there are things that we ended up making them as a norm. Like corruption in South Africa, it's normal. Mm. Um, like they, they expose the government who have, you know, put us in this situation. Now it, it becomes a joke. We make everything a joke. I think we have accepted how things are. People, they do things and then they get away with them. So we in this situation because of it's out there that people, the executives who are in charge of their power stations and all that, they ate billions and it's out there. It's like that. I hope they're not going to crucify me for this, but yeah, it's there. It's 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 normal to us now. And then now they came up with um, solar systems. So for for ten years now, now you guys think it's even normal. It, we uh, see it normal. Uh, normal. The government again mm -hmm. came back to us and said, um, "We're thinking because of we have this situation, let's opt to solar system." And you know we have low shedding in Ghana for I think uh, this year. They started this year. And, you know what I'm and then for? and then the whole the whole Ghana is on fire, you know. It started like that even in us. I just hope your government didn't adopt the bad habits. From anyway, our... anyway, he's leaving office this uh, this year. Mm. So the next person coming, I don't know what's happening. Anyways, but if, even it, even to us, it's not like we've been having this president for ten years. Mm. But now it's this thing that uh, we have people who are not honest about anything. But that's not what we're all about. So as I said, that now they introduce solar system. But now, still, the government said we need we have to pay for them. It's mm -hmm. like how do, who pays for a son that comes from God? But that's oh. how it is. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I see. <laughs> and then another important thing that I, I I want to know: what inspired you to become a a, con a content creator, and how long have you been in this industry? I think 20, 20, I started twenty sixteen. Yes, mm -hmm. twenty sixteen because I was in Israel twenty fifteen. So I started 2016 and um, it all started when I learned how the Jewish do their thing hmm. in Israel, okay. how they worship the God of Israel. Mm -hmm. Because when you say the God of Israel, you all know it's for the, I mean, the Jews. You know? yeah, yeah, yeah. So I, I watched how they do their things out that side uh -huh. and I compared it to Ghana, my country. Mm -hmm. So I was like, okay, let me do education. Okay. Let me help people to know what's happening here. Maybe they can take their own decisions. Okay. So that's how it started. Okay. So far, so good, right? Yeah. So, as I, I, I follow you, 
you are good in exposing fake pastors. I'm calling it good for my side because it makes sense to me. Okay. So you are good in exposing uh, these fake pastors, obviously, with factual things that you produce every time you provide. I mean, every time when you do that. Um, I want to know that do you really think that it's necessary for you to be out there and expose them to, to the world? To be out there, how? A corner to the world, isn't it? Okay. And you are exposing fake pastors mm-hmm. and you always provide evidence. Okay. What, 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 what is it that makes you think that it's necessary for you to reach out and expose them? Uh, the Bible said, lack of knowledge, my people will perish, you know. So I think I'm sharing some knowledge. Okay. And sharing is caring, yeah? True. Okay, so I'm just sharing some knowledge out there. And it's not by force. Mm. It's either you choose it or you, you go and then you get duped. Because they will dupe you whether you like it or not. Mm. So at the end of the day, you come back and then testify. Mm. So it's better for me to let you know. Then you take your own decisions. Okay. And what I want to know is, while you you in that, obviously, people, they listen, others, they dispute with you, others are still blinded, others, they found light in it, right? I, I, I always worry, don't you get, don't you find other people intimidating you or send, maybe being scared that they might send people to hurt you in this whole thing that you're doing? Because personally, I feel like it's a dangerous thing to do. Even the word fear. When you have it, you will die early. Hmm. So you are not supposed to be fearful of what you're doing. Since you know what you're saying is truth, you might be bold and say it. But do you do you find other people that do they believe that you're speaking the truth? A lot of people. You, you believe it, yes? I do. That okay. is why I'm here. <laughs> okay. So <laughs> that is why I'm here. And I'm, I'm here. not just speaking. I'm speaking based on evidence. You know. Okay. So... I am not scared of what I'm doing because I'm saying the truth. And then another important part I want to ask, we are, we are Africans. Mm-hmm. And uh, in other pastors that you've exposed, they, they perform cults and all that. Aren't you scared? That's the part I want to know, that they might attack you spiritually. Because mm-hmm. sometimes they say life is the reflection of what you give it to. Mm-hmm. So with you... Aren't you scared that maybe they might they might harm you in that way? If you believe what you don't know, it comes on you. So I don't want to believe it. Whether you have power or not, I don't care. That's not my problem. You understand? If you have power and I speak about you, hmm. you are not supposed to go to police station. You are not supposed to call uh, maybe the militant. Hmm. You are not supposed to call the security or me or threat me. Hmm. Just go into the spirit and do your thing. Why are you calling police? They don't have any power, okay? So I'm not scared of whatever they are worshipping, the occult or whatever. That's their problem. You Do understand? you go to church, mister? Let me finish with my your sorry, question. Sorry, sorry. But I'm not sorry, done with your question. <laughs> I'm not done with your question, <laughs> <Sorry>. okay? <laughs> you understand? So <laughs> whether they are occult or rituals, whatever, I don't care. Hmm. That's their problem to fix. I'm telling you the truth with evidence, all right? Mm. And because I'm telling them the truth, they can't do anything. Okay. What, they, what they can do is just talk to the police, to the court. You understand? Have you ever been in a situation where they sent you to court? No, 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 no. Okay. That's what I'm saying because I have evidence. I'm not just talking. So if you take me to court, I will bring the evidence. Hmm. So there's no need for you to take me to court. Just meet me and then maybe you beat me. Okay. There's nothing you can do in the spirit. You understand? Because they are doing awkward, as you said. Mm. And then you are living in the darkness. Mm. I am light. Mm. And then the Bible said light and darkness has nothing in common. Yeah, yeah. So once they are in the dark and I'm light, they cannot come close to me. Because there's no gray color. Yeah, we don't no have good. anything in common. Do you go to church? Yeah. What's the name of the church you go to? The church in me. What does that mean? I'm the church. 
How? I am the church. Why must I go to one place for more than three times for me to be advised? Automatically, I'm a fool. Hmm. You understand? Why must I go there? And then you tell me what to do. The next week, I'll come. You tell me what to do. You're being foolish. Because you know very well what you're doing is wrong. That's why you are going there to ask for forgiveness. So, as you... So, I am the church. As you mentioned that you are a church, how do you pray? What, what is it that you do? Do you, do, you, do you stay at home, sing a song, read a Bible, and pray to God? Your did, God? did you know how Jesus prayed? You just, just go to the mountains mm-hmm. and then speak silently and then come back. That's how I do it. Okay, you, you know why I'm asking you this? As you mentioned that you are a church, mm-hmm. you, 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 do, you, do you feel that it's not necessary for us to go to church? Like a building where there's a congregation. You call it building, you know? Mm. You call it building. Now this is the church. We are the church. You understand? That building you are calling a lot of troubles that side. You cannot even go to the altar to give, I mean, collection or tithe without taking your bag. Hmm. It's a problem that side. You understand? So what happened when there was coronavirus? Did you go to we church? Were, we were, in the we house? Were locked, uh, yeah, we were locked down. You wash your hands with the warm water, you know, you cover your nose. Hmm. You never went to church no. for more than six or, I don't know. Almost a year. And what what happened if God came? I mean, Jesus came without you being to church. To, waiting for us at church, we wouldn't be able to go. That's what I'm saying. No, what happened if Judgment Day was to happen? That's time. Mm-hmm. You've not been to church. Mm-hmm. You're in your house, house. indoors. Mm-hmm. You understand? So it's not necessary for us to go to church. Period. Did you pray when you there was a coronavirus time? Did, I was praying. Okay, you prayed inside. Yes. And did God listen to you? Yeah, because I believe that God listens to me wherever I am. Okay, so what is your problem? You, you know what, speaking of that, I become so conflicted mm-hmm. with my history when it comes to churches. Okay. Um, we have certain churches in my country where we, we, we say God of who? Like okay. I was in a church called Shembe. Okay. And I was trained that when I pray, I should say, I, I have to pray to Shembe so that Shembe can send my message to God. Mm-hmm. And then when I became wiser, or let me say a bit older, it didn't make sense to me. Because mm-hmm. now I was like, but this Shembe is in the flesh as well. Okay. But they say I should pray to him mm-hmm. so that he can be the one who can talk to God. Okay. So, okay, I always hear you. You always say, know your God. You always say that. Know your God. You know your God. So it just, God. it just came back, I mean, to the time of Corona. Mm-hmm. Did you but pray so, through the Shemesh or whatever? No, but now I become conflicted sometimes because we're like, why? It feels like God Because if you, are, if you are praying through the God of Shemesh, yes. I don't know this yeah, God. Okay. Do you know the kind of sacrifice we do for this God? Because if you say God, you've said nothing. Who is God? What is God? Mm. What is God? You cannot say you are praying through the God of Ekwanaba. Do you know my God? No. Do you know the kind of food my God likes? Do you know how I pray to my God? Do you know the kind of sacrifices I do for my God? And why are you praying to my God? Do you have personal encounter with my God? That's so deep. <laughs> so why are you talking about somebody as God? Where is your God? Now, as you were speaking, um, you mentioned tithe, and I've heard you, you've been vocal about that. I remember mm-hmm. even the time you were interviewing uh, Bishop Maponga. Yeah, Bishop Maponga, you, yeah. You dwelled on that for a while with him. The Titan ten. The Titan, <laughs> and then sometimes I even hear you, and then there was this video that um, you, there was this live you went on now, when they were talking about, is it cities? 
five CDs. There were, there's, there's a song that they were dancing to. Oh, uh, the so bolo. Oh, oh, okay. This means you've been watching my video. So <laughs> bolo. <laughs> I was dancing to that song as well. Ten ah, yes? CDs. Yeah, ah, yeah. But I didn't know what was there, but I know that your currency is CDs or something. So you were enjoying so the music. So it was money, 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 everything. Like people, you're celebrating that you're going to go there and pay 10 CDs. So bolo. CDs, so okay. bolo. Which is now, it means that I'm going to pay their willingness, happy, okay. right? But you always vocal about this. What should we do as a congregation when we have uh, the, the who they call them men of men of God? And who am I? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> if they are men of God, you said you have your own God. No, if they are men of God, and who am I? You are men, men of, of your God men as of well. men of good or what? We are all men of God. No more, nobody is men of good or monkey. We are all men of God. Okay, I get that, but what what is it that we should do as a congregation? Because sometimes, because I want to be accepted. I'm talking from an experience. I want to be accepted in a certain church. Mm-hmm. I don't have bread in, in my house. You want to be accepted in a certain church? Not the certain. Let's say, when I say certain church, I I, I go to this church. Mm-hmm. Uh, a Kwanaba, a Bishop a Kwanaba. Okay. I go to his church. Mm-hmm. I don't have bread in my house. But if I don't tithe, it feels so wrong as if I'm not part of the congregation. And uh, I want so to be you, so you, are paying, you are paying the tithe because it's, it's feelings. It feels so wrong. Because it's, it's what we were told to do that we need to tithe. Right. So, as Uslindile now, who's so lost, what to do? I have only this 20 rand. It's either I give it to my pastor or I buy bread at home. <laughs> and I'm conflicted. What advice would you give me? Buy bread. Buy bread at home. What about my... Your what? My man of God. <laughs> <laughs> what about my church? <laughs> and I told you before that you are the church. You are the church, okay? Is it wrong to tithe? Yeah, it's wrong to tithe. Any pastor who tastes tithe is a criminal. It's a criminal one. Very, I mean, the, the notorious one. You know the mafias? Mm. The mafias in Mexico. <laughs> you understand? They, I they, see them on the movies. Yeah, they are the real mafias. Any pastor who takes tithe is, is a mafia. Mm-hmm. Street. Yes, he, he doesn't come close to Melchizedek. Who's yeah. that? You've been paying tithe, you don't even know Melchizedek. No. Are you for you don't know Mekisedek and you pay tight? That's why I grew up. They said ten percent. It's either you contribute with your hands or if you're working, you tight with ten percent of whatever that you. So you know you very well you are not a Christian because you were born in a Christian community. Jesus never called you. Do you blame do, me? Do, do if you know I was that? Exposed to that? Listen, Jesus never called you. You are not a Christian. If you are a Christian, you know how. To live a Christian life. Because Christianity is not a religion. It's a lifestyle. That's why when they go to Antioch. Their lifestyle depicts that of Christ. So they call these guys. Ah, these are the Christians. I mean these are the followers of Christ. So for you. If you were born in a Muslim community. By now you've been a Melia or whatever. Mm-hmm. You know, you'll be calling Rafika. Mm-hmm. Or Rafia too. You understand? So you are worshipping Christ, because you were born into it. Who, who should I blame? My mother. You can't blame anybody. <clears throat> you understand? Anybody who puts his blame on somebody else is a failure. You must be responsible for your own problems. Maybe you don't know. Now you know. So you fix it. Don't point your fingers on somebody else. That is your problem. Fix it. That's it's giving me a... a, a it's it's giving me some feels, you know, because, um, as you said, that we were born there, we were exposed to it, and we 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 were taught that it's the right thing to do, and how one steps to that, if maybe you will discover that after thirty years that, or oh, all along I've been living this, and this is not the right way. At the very same time, you conflicted because of that's the only thing you know. What you were taught when you were a child, that is why the community is still poor. You understand? The 10% is supposed to be given to the poor ones in the community. The Mm. 10% is supposed to be given to the widows in the community, Mm. the orphans in the community. 
and that makes you a, a true worshiper of God, according to James 1:27. Okay. Actually, what you what you're saying right now it's leading to the question that I was about to ask you. Okay. Uh, I've witnessed that you you have provided many opportunities for other people, right? Okay. Um, and how does that makes you feel? Maybe when you're having your moments, your thoughts, and all that, knowing that there's someone out there is able to provide bread for their families because of. You. A time is coming. Everybody is going to mourn his own body, his own dead body. Mm-hmm. You understand what I'm saying? A time is coming. Okay. Everybody is going to mourn his or her own dead body. Yeah. Now, I don't have a mother. I don't have a father. Mm. I'm like them. Yeah, yeah. You understand? So, the kind of path you take, it will take you there. At the end of the day, it's like when my father died. There were these friends of mine who was calling a corner, but ah, it's um, it's the Bible says, um, we live for Christ, we die for Christ, whatever. So, okay, it's fine. And when their own died, they are crying. I said, No, no, the message you sent me, the Bible said, When you live, you live for Christ, <laughs> when you die, you die for Christ. Okay. You understand? Mm. So, if I'm helping the poor or the widow, the orphan, now I am the same person. My mother and my father, they are all dead. I'm like them. You understand? And then whatever I do will reflect to me, to my generation. Beautiful. I like that. I like that. And where do you see yourself in five years' time from now? Taking over. Going over to the world. You know the story already. So, <laughs> going over to the world. Oh, because I said it. Because I was like, I'll come over to the world. Because that's what it, your things are written. So Yeah, yeah come over so to the world. In five years' time, you see a come over to the whole world. To the whole world. And now South Africa. So I'm going to start uh, some lessons mm-hmm. in English, podcasting okay. with South Africans. Yes. And then yes. also let them share their views on this platform. Yeah, yeah. You understand? Mm-hmm. So it goes, it leads me to my next question. You are a traveler. You love traveling. As you said, a corner to the world. Is that the reason that you always travel? You, you want to have an idea of the places that you want to spread yourself. So you, you, you go there to explore so that you can know or make a decision that you want to be part of that community or what? I remember when I first wanted to travel out of Ghana. <laughs> And I don't know anybody anywhere. Yeah. I have families outside from my father's side. They don't care about us. Yeah. So it was difficult for me to get visas, you know, mm-hmm. by then. Because if you had no one that they can help me go or there. Che- or maybe check if maybe you're saying you're traveling to South Africa to. I don't know, yeah. So you no didn't cash, have nothing. Okay. No cash, no t- nothing. Mm. So I plan towards that, that I will do it without the help of anybody. So you have to read about any country you want to visit. Mm. That's how it started. So I travel to any country I want to go with the requirement of that country's embassy. Mm. You understand? Okay. So do you see yourself traveling the whole world? Now is the time. Mm. <laughs> now is the time. Okay. Speaking of not having support to things, are you open to sponsorships? It's a, it's another problem for me mm. because um, if you sponsor me, it will end in tears. Oh. <laughs> you understand? What does because that mean? at the end of the day, uh, you will do something bad, and you love for me to speak to you back door, so we fix it back door. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I'm not the backdoor guy. I'll bring it public. So, what are you saying? I'm saying if you sponsor me and anything yeah, happens, I cannot hide it. I will say it. So, enter at your own risk. Yeah. So, if you want to sponsor, it's fine. But bear in mind that I cannot hide your criminality. So, I will say it. Yeah, you, you are in no go zone. Yeah, I cannot protect you. So, you rather not start that thing. Huh? rather not al- allow anyone to sponsor you if you know that it might not end well. That's right. why That's why my wife is sponsoring me. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. 
And then another thing I want to know, what's your definition of spiritual an- alignment? Spiritual alignment. Mm. Hmm. We are all in a spiritual being, you know. Mm. When I sleep, I'm done. When I wake up, I am awake. Mm. For me, I think I have to think about what is happening on earth. Concentrate on what is before me. Okay. What I can see, I can feel. In the flesh. Uh-huh. You understand? I don't have time in the spirit. You understand? I don't have time in the spirit. If you want to be in the spirit, go into the spirit. But there isn't this there's this famous thing that people always say that, oh, I'm a spiritual being. Oh, I'm, I'm spiritually inclined. Hmm. So they should go and live in the spirit. And then we that want to live on earth. But I thought, I thought you balance such spirituality and after after flesh. after being a spiritual man, what else? And then what? Can you develop a car? Can you uh, <laughs> do you bring anything knowledgeable on it? It's just seeing this, this, this. As I'm speaking to you now, you believe in spirit? Mm, yeah, I've never experienced any about spirits but you want, I hear that they, they, they are spirits and you, me. and you want to experience it no, because I'm as I'm speaking to you now your mother is standing at the back of you <laughs> I don't believe you you don't believe me no why because I know you don't have that gift I don't have that gift I can see your mother your mother is standing there why you don't believe me why why should she be seen by you instead of me that's what I'm child? saying so anything that you cannot give evidence to is meaningless. Because you can just hold your hands. Ah, I can see a hole in your hands. And you believe this. Do you think we invest much in seeking such things as, as human beings? Like we desperate to, to reach that spirituality and all of that. This, like that, what we're doing, go eat snakes because of we so desperate to define and and find spirituality within us africans need to grow you know this spirit 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 thing to me it doesn't make sense hmm. you've not even finished thinking about physical why what are you going to do in the spirit <laughs> hmm? when we started you said this country you are on low schedule for almost 10 years You've not finished thinking about that. You are going to the spirit. For what? Finish the low shedding. After that, you go to the spirit. Eh? Finish with the, your rules. Finish with your job opportunities. After that, you go to the spirit. You, you move to the spirit. For now, think about those ones on earth. The reality. Yeah. And then later, you go to the spirit. Okay. And what is your aspiration? Aspiration. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Rico is saying there is nothing called spirit. <laughs> okay, I think I should learn more a bit about that. I think I should learn more about that because you know this world we're living at. It's, it's there's a lot. You can read it. Read it. Kuningi, kuningi ya. You can read it. Just read it. We need to use the brain. Read it aloud so they can. <laughs> okay. Um, Charles, um, Jordan said we need to use the brains. Charles says, Pastor, oh, okay. And then Rika there's nothing called spirits. The Bible only speak of, of only seven spirits before the, the throne of God. So how can someone go into the spirit? Hmm. Okay. I guess I, I, I should just focusing on other things the reality as you said so south africans you know that um what we are talking about you understand we want to fix issues hmm. we're not ready for any spirit but that's what we're focusing more on it isn't yeah. it isn't it we're focusing on that is why your a lot of things is not happening in your country because you are all in the spirit you are busy in the spirit looking hmm. for uh, aliens looking for and Adam, me, Adam, Eve, uh, Paul, it, Peter. It, it, it's so funny that 
I'm not saying this in a mockery way, mm -hmm. and I'm not saying this uh, because I'm judging people who choose what they choose, but do you know the rate of Sangomas that has been initiated in the past five years in mm -hmm. my country? It's a lot. Like, if you're like, oh, even yourself, you're a Sangoma. Even yourself, like, even yourself, everybody now is turning into a Sangoma. So that is why I was saying to you, people, they looking for spiritual and, and, and alignment and, and client. Mm, okay. I asked, what is your aspiration? Because <laughs> <laughs> we all have that. My aspiration uh -huh. is to be in a peaceful space. Okay. In and out. I'm talking about me, right? Okay. That's my aspiration. And now I had to first learn that you cannot look for peace if you're not a peaceful person. Mm -hmm. You cannot look for peace, but you don't even understand what is peace. So what is your aspiration? That is to see my wife smiling every day. Hmm. That's beautiful. And it's doing right by her. That's all. Yeah. Any regrets in your life? No, because whatever I caused or whatever happened to me, I caused it. I don't regret it. Isn't... Shouldn't we all have that in us sometimes you regret and deal with it acknowledge forgive yourself and 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 before mm. maybe whatever and happens then you go through feelings i mean you go through feelings isn't it when you regret before you fix it i think about things i can fix not things i cannot fix you understand things that happens in the past is already gone why must i think about this 2024 <laughs> it's gone, you know. Mm. Let's, but sometimes, let's focus. You, sometimes you become what you are because of your past, isn't it? The good ones, fine. The bad ones, let it go. Okay. And what is the definition of love in general to you? How do you perceive love in general? To me. Mm. You ask to me, yes? Yes, to you. That is why I said to you. Okay. Yes. Love is cash. How? If you have cash, you have love. But yeah. they say love can, uh, money cannot they buy They say, love. they say, forget about it. You said me. Okay. Yes? Yeah, yeah. Love is cash. When you have cash, you get love. When you are poor, you don't have love. Love is cash. How did you end there? How did you lend to that love is, is cash? Because... There are people who have money out there, but they don't find warmth in it. They don't feel loved through it. So how did you learn the way you learned that love is... The Bible good? said you will enjoy your fruit. So if you work for your money, you will get the love. Okay. My brother once said this to me. He once said... He wrote, he wrote me a letter, he said, I've noticed that you don't believe in love. Mm -hmm. And you not believing in love, it means that you don't believe in God. Okay. Because God is love and love is God. Okay. That's what he said. Even today, I, I tried to understand and ask him, what did you mean by that? He said, it's like that. So mm -hmm. if you don't believe in love, it means you don't believe in God. And if you don't believe in God, it means that you don't believe in love. Yeah. And here you are, you believe that Yeah, that's the cash. truth. That is the truth. Because if you don't believe in God, you don't believe in what? Your brother said what? You don't believe in love. Okay. He said, love your neighbor as yourself. If mm -hmm. I see you as God, you understand? Mm -hmm. And I'm doing something that is going to hurt you. Because mm -hmm. I see you as God, I will not do it. You understand, but I'm I'm thinking that there's a God somewhere else that you are not closer to that God. This pastor or this guy is closer to that God, mm. so I'll give respect to this pastor more than you, mm. because he is closer to that God. But if I see you as God in you, so <clears throat> you said love love is cash. For me, love is cash. So you show love by giving money. You, you don't get it. I don't. That's why I'm maybe I'm still into it. <laughs> because now, 
when you say love mm. is cash to it me. means that someone to show love to you they have to give you cash or should if you have to show love to someone you have to give them cash that's how i'm understanding it so that is now i've been traveling i've been traveling around making some money coins mm. helping the poor helping the needy maybe one or two guys one or two friends and you're losing money, losing money. Mm. when i'm broke now they all turn their back on me but not everyone i feel like you're generalizing to me yeah there yeah, it's true yeah maybe according to your, <laughs> maybe according to your experience in life you understand so love is cash when you have love everybody will come close they will show love real love but when you have money no love and then in, in that manner most if you know that those people they will be here because of money you cannot define that as love that's fake that's not my problem my problem is james 127 he said i should help the needy mm. the poor the orphan the so widow. you relate well to that uh, to that script because and you are james i'm too. james too <laughs> so i'm doing what james is saying <laughs> <laughs> I, I have one last question mm. that it bothers me sometimes when I'm alone because they always say that we shouldn't pay attention to what people think of us or what they say about us but for me I think again it's important um, to hear remarks about you because sometimes they, they, they help you to be disciplined in life isn't it when you sometimes worry what another person thinks about you or what they say about you What do you want to be remem- to be remembered for? To be remembered for? To be remembered for, yes. Mm. Giving what I have back to the society. That is um what I learned through all my travels educating the public, the masses, letting them know what is good and what is right. They know, mm-hmm. but they are afraid to practice it. I want people not to be afraid of these pastors anymore. They are human beings. They don't have any spirit, no power, nothing. I want them to understand that. I want them to know God for themselves. Mm-hmm. You understand? To build their own personal relationship with God by themselves. Okay. So is that what you want to be remembered for? Yeah. If if let's say hypothetically tomorrow God comes to you. Your God comes to you and say, "James, I'm here to fetch you." Okay. I'm, I'm, I, 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 I came to fetch you. To What where? would be your answer? To I'm, where? I'm taking you, my child. I'm taking you to the spiritual world. And what What would you say to God? Nothing. Your God. Nothing. Would you Would you say, "I'm ready, God, to take me," or you would negotiate that I'm not done with? my peoples in 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 this world i don't have a choice i think i think i would negotiate to to no. keep me for a while ah uh, okay <laughs> i think i would say <laughs> god i don't think i've accomplished uh, my peoples in this life can you please give me an extra 20 years i think i would do that because uh, okay. of you would be given an opportunity as i said you'd be given an opportunity that you can negotiate would you negotiate no i don't have time That's a spirit talking, right? Yeah, let's say God is spirit, yes. Yeah, and okay. say now my child um, I came to take you in this trouble. So the go- the God is coming in spirit. Right? I don't know. I've never spoken with him. That is why I said You are asking me about this. I said I said hypothetically. Okay. Those are the things that comes into my mind sometimes. So so, so God is spirit, is spirit, you know. Yeah. So I don't have to argue with the spirit. They should do whatever they want. So if I negotiate, it would show that I'm being disrespectful to his wishes. You are asking me a question, not <laughs> you. you. For you, you can decide. <laughs> you understand? <laughs> that is your problem. You have to fix it. Okay. okay. You understand? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Thank you so much. Um, so there are comments. There are comments. That... Maybe you want to read it for them. <laughs> comments. Maybe you want to read it for them. <laughs> Maybe they want to ask you questions, so I don't know. Okay, they can ask me. Uh, okay. So you're podcasting. What do you do there? 
You yourself. In my podcast, actually, I I'm open to anything because I'm 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 very open minded. Okay. Even though you said, uh, is it Auntie Betty? Who's who does the Auntie Betty? Who is Auntie Betty? I don't know. There's there's a lady you mentioned earlier that she she's a, a sexual. Uh, ah, uh, I bet I bet That's that's where I'm heading. Oh, okay. Um, that that's where I'm heading. Um, but okay, I bet I bet I'm not done for my work. So why would you mind being done here? So you can talk to I bet. I'm I've been doing a lot of research mm. about that. A lot of research, um, understanding the fetishes and all that. So that's where I'm heading, but. I'm, I'm, I don't want to box myself in a sense that this is a real world. Uh, it's not only, we're not here, we are not just sexual beings. There are other aspects of life. Um, so I want to be open, more especially things that happen in my country, like um, we are so exposed to polygamy. Mm. And to polygamy, it's 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 that people now they they don't know the purpose of it but they want to do it and i've i've discovered most of women who are married they would accept that the partner has a side chick mm. they accept and say ah he can go, he can go to her but she will come back okay it means that you have accepted a third person in your okay. in your marriage make it official bring her home mm. That is what is happening in your country. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Polygamy, mm-hmm. it's, 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 it's one of those. Um, th- I think one thing I won't entertain, it's, it's, poli- it's politics. Um, I'm not. Okay, concerned. so you are going to be talking about polygamy, sex. sex. Okay. Yeah, most, I think that's where I'm heading. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And you're better when you're down for white, you know. <laughs> 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 yeah, that's where I'm heading. So, that is why so you can talk to Abeta. Yeah. Abeta is the, the best. My podcast is called Unscramble Life. Uns- Unscramble Life with Slee. Okay. Yes. Uh, Jordan, I don't mean say yeah, that is a good country. Because, <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> um, I mean, okay, what I can tell you is I grew up with Shembe. Let me just maybe, uh-huh. let me just uh, summarize what Shembe is all about or what is well known of. Okay. Um, Ushembe, it's a it's a church that it only it's more like Sabbath. Mm-hmm. So from six on Friday, six p.m. Mm-hmm. until six p.m. on Saturday. Okay. Uh, there are certain things that we're not allowed to do. Like um, you cannot eat hot food. You're not allowed to cook. Mm-hmm. Like you cannot perform things. You have to go to church. Mm-hmm. So we'll have two services in the morning and the afternoon. So when you are a, a girl, when you're a girl. It means that um, there are virginity tests that you, takes place. Okay, so uh, <laughs> Jordan, Jordan Lumenu is saying, "Will you be one of my wives?" One thousand and one already. <laughs> he has one thousand and one. You want to add you more? <laughs> so maybe you can um, you can be part of Jordan Lumenu's wives. I, 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 for me, I, 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 I don't have a problem with polygamy. Mm, okay. I don't have a problem with polygamy, but one has to have a valid reason why they want polygamy. Don't do it out of greed. Because mm. of other people, they just do it because of they, they, they are greedy or they have abilities of taking more than one wife because of they can provide and, and all that. But at the end of the day, being in a polygamy space, you have to understand that even yourself, you have to divide yourself because I don't just need your money. I need affection. I need you you to be here and that is why it end up now i think i think uh, this is your topic they will love it uh it shall it shall pass control you said polygamy is very good so when are you starting this <laughs> this your program i'm waiting for uzwe to come in a friend of mine because he's very vocal about it and he mm. says most of men want polygamy they want to be in a polygamy marriage but you godzilla did you say anything about virginity test yes i did I was, okay. I was, I was talking about my church, and then you read that. Oh, okay. So this is where I was going. Virginity test. Yes, my church that I was okay, not my previous church. You were doing virginity test. Yes. How do you do it? Because of now they're grooming you to get into marriage. Okay. Our church was we girls, mm-hmm. girls from six p.m. on Friday mm-hmm. till six p.m. on Saturday. Mm-hmm. You don't wear panties. Hey. 
Right. Nice church. Very nice church. You don't wear panties. So all you the go ladies. to church. All the yeah. ladies. Not no all pa- ladies. Virgins. No, no panties. No panties. Uh-huh. You go to church with no panties. Okay. The rule is, when you get there, uh-huh. no man should look at you. So we have white cloths that we cover ourselves with. Okay. Right. Mm-hmm. And then, the only time we remove them, it's during lunchtime. Because of we're going to be there the whole day. So mm-hmm. we're going to eat. And then later on, we we dance. Naked. That's the only you dance no, naked. No, no, <laughs> no. We're dancing. Um, um, let's say men that side, boys that side, mm-hmm. women that side, girls that side. Mm-hmm. So we dancing. We we dancing because of we're gonna go to 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 a conference where there will be other um other people from uh, the other branches. Okay. So we dance the same thing. So you, you have to know the routine and all that. So mm. that's the only time people will see you. Mm. Right? Somebody's asking, so what is a virginity test? Okay. Other people, they think that virginity test is when someone has to put fingers inside your VJJ. In your church? People no, assume. No, no, no. No, I'm going there. Okay. People always assume that Doing um, a virginity test, someone who has to put their fingers in your VJJ. And by doing that, obviously, you're breaking me. Mm-hmm. In my church, this is how we did, we, we did it. Because we have aunties who are 50, 60, who are virgins. Mm-hmm. So they are the ones. 60 years, yes. virgin, yes. in your church? Yes. Wow. Okay. They, we do have. So we call them Abu Ad. So aunties are the ones who have to check us. So there will be a specific time that the whole of South Africa... We go to the same place as girls. Okay. A uh, to the mountains where we're gonna meet. Each, we're gonna meet as 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 girls, mm-hmm. and then we go to 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 a river because of we have to bathe first. Mm-hmm. So we have to get to a, a river that flows, and then Afro Afro Tropical says uh, you want to go to that church. So. It's fine, <laughs> and then we, we it has to happen in the middle of the night. We the virginity test. We bathe first. Mm-hmm. We have to bathe in the dark. Okay. Bathe, 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 bathe. And then we go to aunties. Okay. This is what happens. Mm-hmm. You open your legs. Mm-hmm. Auntie looks. You open the legs. Yes. And then the auntie, auntie will looks. Look. Okay. The church aunties. A reason, yes. A reason that they, they will know that you're still a virgin. They say there's something that is more like an eye. That is just there on the door of your virgin jay. Mm-hmm. That is why when you're breaking, there will be a pain because of there's a there's a there's a flesh that it's been teared. <laughs> okay. But there's no way that you have to put fingers and all that. So yeah. you, you open your legs. You just white. open white for the church and endless. then auntie would see the church eye. church auntie yes yes okay. And then now after that aunties will give feedback to Babu Shembe, which is the prophet of the church, the one that who who's an umbrella of all branches mm-hmm. that, okay. Sorry. So where we, we used to go, mm-hmm. sorry, as, as I've seen crazy things where others, they will start confessing. Mm-hmm. That, no, I'm no longer a virgin. I was scared that my mm-hmm. family and, 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 and should they find you not being a virgin, your fam, your mom and dad, they should buy a cow to cleanse the church. <laughs> now, <laughs> Hey. After then, that's when now the polygamy come in, comes in. Oh, I'm going. I'm in. going for. I'm going I'm going I'm going to 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 to they're not watching. They're confirming that yeah, I'm still a virgin. But they need to look and then confirm. Yeah, of course. Okay. Yeah, they have to check the eye. Okay. The eye of the VJJ should be there to show that no man has touched you. But uh. now, um. Let's say maybe you are over 20. Now mm-hmm. you're starting to date. Okay. You're allowed to date within the church. Mm. And the person that you'll be dating, understand the rules that you cannot put your dingling inside me. Mm-hmm. So we call it what we are soma. We are soma. We are soma. It means that you will just play between my thighs. Mm. In Ghana, you say, we are soma. We are soma. Soma, it means that you're playing between my thighs. Okay. We playing or, or in the name of church. Yes. Okay. So we cannot have an actual sex. You cannot penetrate. Mm. So if you're my boyfriend mm. and now we are older and they understand that we're dating. Okay. I can slip over 
but you cannot open. You cannot penetrate. Uh, we play between the thighs and maybe a foreplay and 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 until we both come. Hmm. <laughs> How can they see that someone is not a virgin? Somebody is asking you. With the eye. Yeah. Which is obvious when you're breaking a virginity, there's a flesh that it's been teared. It's the one that Okay, so so those watching if they've broken a virginity before they know the VJJI. Every woman has that the, flesh. The, it's oh. a fl- it's more like a flesh. It's a flesh actually that is So what happens if if you are not a virgin then what? In our church you go stay behind the, the ladies the the, the the mothers. And you somebody is the 60 years virgin. Yes. Wait, can, wait why why, why why why? They choose not to they they choose to to be 60 years. Perfect. Yeah. Okay. If you are no longer a virgin and you've already stayed with virgins and you were not honest about it you will have to cleanse the church with the car so so maso we dey gana obi antimi ntisa so we be na so be na o o le gana ni be madam person for play ono wa lo mo ni madingo e adwuma no ano den wow your church but i'm going to the holy game where i'm heading okay the holy game okay head to the holy game yes so now the following day he said how many times do you have to go you, through this you go, uh, test you go you go quarterly quarterly four four times in a year four times in a yes. year okay yes because of we have to meet as all south african girls who, who get into the church so it's an it's more like a we are from different branches mm-hmm. and then there's an actual day so it, it takes a whole week okay. we, we have to be there the whole week mm. and then now when the aunties go report to uba Bushem that Oh, your, 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 your girls, they still pure and all that. I think people are interested in this church. They say they want to, they want to <laughs> join your church. Guys, it's Shembe. S-H-E-M-B-E. Mm. Shembe. The good. Where, where is it located? It's, it's only everywhere. in South Africa. It's everywhere. It's, 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 it's even in Ghana. No, 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 no. In South Africa. Ah, before, in South Africa. Okay. It's, it's originated from KZN. Okay. Originally, it's from KZN. Mm. That's where it was well known um, for. And then now, when they confirm the purity of girls, mm-hmm. there'll be a celebration okay. for us. And then now, we chant in the streets with, with, with breasts, no bra, nothing. Ah. Yes. And then whatever that you have to wear, it should show the butt cheeks a bit. No bra. No bra. You're a virgin. Why the same church. Having? Yes. But now we're in the church, we're chanting in the, in the, in the villages now celebrating that yes i'm still a virgin so what and then you are so dancing we chant, yeah we, we dance we sing no bra but no bra Nothing. and then men now are standing they watching. they watching men they watching <laughs> i'm going to the polygamy now <laughs> men are watching you we chanting we go with our aunts each and every each and every branch has their own aunt okay we chanting with our aunts chanting with the breast and your butt cheeks has to show it so us. so how many times were you checked me from when i was nine until 17. you keep opening and then they are checking yeah okay. <laughs> God. don't don't put it like that no no the auntie yeah. you have to open wide and the auntie will check yes yes okay and then no, now no bra no bra no bra and then dancing yeah okay. and then we have maybe each and every branch the girls have a skirt mm-hmm. we have a skirt that shows that we're from this branch. A mm-hmm. skirt that shows that we're from this branch. Okay. And then whatever that you have to wear, it mm-hmm. should just be able to close the coochie and a bit off. But your butt cheeks has to show a bit as well. Mm-hmm. You're a virgin, so okay. there's nothing to hide. That's what they said. Okay. And then now, this is what happens. Should a man see you and likes you, mm-hmm. they have to find out who's the auntie of that ch- church. And then they go to that auntie and say, I want that girl. But mostly it's done by men who are already married. Ah. Yes. <laughs> okay. It's done mostly by men who are already married. They want the tear rubber. The tear, the tear what? Tear rubber. I mean, new car. They want to open the new car. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> so now most of them uh, they come with excuses of they 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 are women they are not uh, able to mm-hmm. give babies others the excuse is they are women uh, busy women so they can't be at home to do chores as wife mm-hmm. others will tell you that I need a, a, a second a, th- a second or third wife because of my brother. Mm-hmm. I have a brother who passed on, so I have to marry for him. Will you love if somebody want to call and ask you a question? Mm. Are you okay with yeah, that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No okay. problem. Okay. Okay, you continue. Okay. Um, so now, uh, most of them, they are busy women, so they can't be at home to do chores as wife. Others will tell you that I need a second or third wife because of my brother they will come to your family and say your daughter has been seen by this certain person and somebody is saying this south african indefinite visa <laughs> <laughs> and then now they will go communicate with your parents right you are still a virgin remember okay <laughs> and then this person has to come and pay before they sleep with you they pay lobola lobola yes okay. pay cows cows it's 11 cows 11 cows 11 Okay. The eleventh one is called Inkomoga Mama. It means it's what? a mother's cow. Inkomoga Mama. Inkomoga Mama. Inkomoga Mama. Okay. It means that it's your mother's cow. It's the one for your virginity. Oh. It's I your see. mom who deserves that because of she's the one who's been teaching you to close legs. Mm. Inkomoga mm-hmm. Mama. Inkomoga Mama. Okay. Yes. And therefore, after that, now after they paid Ilobola. Okay. And then now people are coming to celebrate. Mm-hmm celebrating while they're preparing a bedroom for you and, and your husband. Okay. The aunties will be there. The aunties will be there. The aunties will be there. And mm. then they will have to have a white sheet. A white sheet. Yes. That you and your husband gonna use. Okay. That they will take after you've died you done the deeds. <clears throat> take it to the congr- take it to people who are there for celebration and say, indeed she is a virgin because of there will be that blood. Mm, I see. Yes. So mostly, that's when I've learned about polygamy, and I don't have a problem with that. Mm. So yeah. this is what happened in your church. My previous church. Your previous I left, church. I left the church 2004. <clears throat> uh, somebody says, Rikus one says, "Yes, I want this lady, but I can't get this cows." He can't get he can't get the cows uh, maybe it's expensive oh yeah <clears throat> with me now going to my culture because Charles, have... Charles actually is saying uh, he'll, he'll pay 15 cows so it's fine so 15 Waiting. cows <laughs> okay. but with my culture when you have when you have kids they cut the cows mm-hmm. that you don't get that 11 cows because each and every cow has a meaning every cow has a meaning yeah, for 11 of 11 of them they have a meaning i see yeah so when are you starting this your podcast i have to talk to my bosses um, and also invite more of your friends to come on the show yeah, so yeah, we yeah. can learn from them yeah too. yeah yeah yeah. i will definitely do but that today I, today mom, you taught us a lot of things about this uh church yeah i see anyway yeah. so you were the one interviewing me yeah. now i am the one interviewing you <laughs> You started because <laughs> of you were asking me about my podcast. I see. Yes. I see. Mm-hmm. Okay, so now I'm done with my questions. Thank you so much. So are we done? You are you done? Are you okay now? <laughs> I d- yeah. You answered all the things that I was curious oh, about. Okay. Yes. So I was. We got it. We got here because of you were asking what's the uh, what's my concept of okay. my podcast. Okay. when your sister by an assembly hour or say what team program I now on your comment section and now. Of tea of your comment now, now of your caption, and who knew as I'm Kura maker. In tea, my bassa, my son, but Jimmy Dio will be trying to interview. Er, say a corner, but that lady also let lost, also virgin. Oh, oh, you, you are not a virgin. How do you know? <laughs> How do you know? Okay. Joking. I have no, I'm not. I'm a mom. Yeah, you have uh, two children. Yes. Yeah. So you are not a virgin. You see, this lady is really pretty. I admire her from afar. Thank you. Edward Osei. Uh, Osei, how do you spell it? What? I think the lobola. Lobola. It's L-O-B-O-L-A. Lobola, as I'm saying it. Lobola. 
Rekus is asking, why did you left the church? Okay. Why did she left the church? Okay, so why okay. did you leave the church? Okay, so this is what happened. Uh-huh. And honestly, my reasoning capacity then, it was different from now. Uh-huh. So my mom is Tosa. Was okay. Tosa. Okay, my, my mom dad is was, Yes, and then my dad, Zulu. Uh-huh. So I'm a mix of Umzulu and Mkosa. Umzulu and Mkosa. Okay. But because my parents were not married, so mm-hmm. obviously I perform the maternal side in everything, the cinema and all that. And my mom, coming from a Kosa nation, they didn't know about the Shemi thing. Kosa nation. Kosa nation. Mm-hmm. They, 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 they had glimpses of what was Shembe, but the Shembe then wasn't exposed as now because we have social media platforms and all that. So my mom, when she passed on, she wanted to be buried the shembe way. So there's a shembe way how you they, how they bury you. And my mom's family not being aware how things were supposed to be done. Mm-hmm. So we had a, a, a leader at church for, for women who had to help me uh, to dress my mom. Because when you pass on as a shembe person, mm-hmm. there's a there's a Nazareth. There's a white dress that they designed for you that they you have to dress. Okay. And my mom wanted to be buried on Sunday because of we were respecting the Sabbath day. Mm. So which means that she was supposed to be buried on Sunday. I got very angry at the church. To I was very very angry at them because my mom had to to be driven to Eastern Cape and from Joburg to Eastern Cape it's 15 hours drive. Okay. So my mom's body was supposed to be driven to Eastern Cape with no one as a church member. None. Oh, okay. Going back to what you said that Why you when you church? don't have money. Ah, okay. So you have the experience already. Yes, because now, <laughs> now at our church, you were somebody mm-hmm. who was respected because of you have money. Mm-hmm. So in my church, I knew that Mr. Makubela was there. Everybody would even lick his toes because of he had money. Yes. And I come from a poor background. That's what I'm saying. My mom was not a noticeable person in church. My mm-hmm. family was not noticeable. So drove here to Eastern Cape. I I need to bury my mom mm-hmm. with a shame away. Okay. I have a rude uncle who doesn't even understand that. Mm-hmm. One, when you are buried as a shame away, they don't put you in a casket. They don't put you in a casket, mm-hmm. even though it will be bought, obviously, because of it's the rule, but okay. they break it. So my mom had to be buried with um, okay. Somebody is also asking, What do they preach about? You finished why okay. you left the church? Why you left you I, left I, the I church? Uh, so now, she had to be wrapped with a cow skin. You wrap with a blanket mm-hmm. and wrap with a cow, cow skin. Or in the name of the church. Because or that's the, how Shembe people are buried. Your church? Yes. Okay. So now, there's a certain way even how they do your graveyard. They have to dig it six feet under, but still make a room mm-hmm. inside. They have to have a room that they will chaff you there. Mm-hmm. So, not have experienced, because I was so young, I was, I was 17, and now not knowing, I had to keep on calling. Okay, so I had to direct people. Okay, now we're done with this. What should we do? And my uncle was standing like this. You know what? My sister is a witch. It's the first time I, that I see someone being buried with a monkey. You know, because it was taboo to them. It was something that they've never seen before. And now we have to be directed by people who are not even here. I don't have support. Um, it's only me and my siblings who are wearing this shembe things, mm-hmm. bearing my mom in a shembe way. And we grew up being told that church is your second home, it's mm-hmm. your second family. So ever since that day, I never went back. Mm-hmm. That's how I left the church. And I was still a virgin. I left the church since that day. But now, as I mentioned, the reasoning capacity, it was more of, Maybe if I knew better, I would have left that branch and go to another one. Maybe they would have been different people from the ones that I was exposed to. So what do they preach about? <sighs> we have 
we have our own Charles Martin. Mm-hmm. We have our own book for songs. We don't sing general songs. Okay. Uh, it's more like how they do it at a Methodist, at uh, what, what else? A church. They have their own books that they, they sing the songs. So we have a different one. With the Bible, we read Bible, but I don't remember. I think everywhere where it says God, they say Shembe. Everywhere that they say God, they say Shembe. So we things were told that everything you have to do it the Shembe way because that's what the the, the, the the logo says as well. The, mm. the slogan, Shembe is the way. Mm, okay, so that's what you preached. Shembe, Shembe, Shembe. Whatever that you say, where there's, the, there's God, they put Shembe. So it was more of they always... Even so, it's like you don't even know your God. You are worshiping Sheme. Yes, 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 yes. It was okay. like that. And what is Sheme? Who is the owner of that Sheme? Sheme, they say, they say. I mean, it was a long time ago. I mean, it's mm-hmm. been twenty. It's been twenty years. Me not being at that church. Okay. Um, Sheme, it was one of God's prophets, Jesus' prophets. They say. Jesus prophet in South Africa or what? I don't know, but there's a history. I think most of people, they can go to history of Shembe. How did Shembe became a leader? <laughs> okay. Yeah, so Ushembe was one of those who claimed that he was God sent, but it, it went from generation to another. Like if you are the first Shembe and mm. then you die as your son, I take... Rikus is said uh, it's very good it's very good you left as they refuse to help when you were in need of them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Thank you. Yeah. I, I, besides that, I, I think I made it right. It was more of collateral beauty for me. Okay, so spell the church again. It's, uh, the shame is what S S H E M B E. Okay, shambe. Shambe. Oh, okay, okay. And Shembe, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's someone's clan, clan name. Like a, a Kwanaba is the way. Ah, okay. So the Shembe is someone's name, clan name. Clan name. And okay. then now, when the first Shembe passed on, the child mm-hmm. take over. Oh, and okay. It's a generational thing. So there's Shembe first, Shembe third, Shembe what? Shembe and that first. Shembe is the prophet of God. He says. Okay. And then now I just found out that they split it because of apparently Shembe said God said he should fly to him and then he created wings. <laughs> oh my god, I can't believe I'm saying this. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know the whole story, please. Can I not be crucified for this? But how I heard the story is Shembe said God is calling him. Okay. And his way to go to get to God. He created some wings with the, um, what is this? Iron material, I think, something like that. And then Went while fly. he was flying, he, he came back. And he fell and died. Oh, okay. But <laughs> he was able to fly. Obvious. If you're on the mountain or something. Oh, it started, from the, the it started from the mountain. He had to get a cliff, of course. <laughs> I heard about that. I don't know how to use it because I haven't been to church for 20 years. But I heard that that's how he died. Mm. He created some wings and then he went to the cliff and then yeah. <laughs> he, crushed, he crushed it and died. Africa, I said, but you're not going to anyway. <laughs> Uh, somebody says you want to follow your page, so uh, give <laughs> say unscramble life with sleep. Okay, say it again. Unscramble life <laughs> with sleep. Unscramble life with sleep. Please write it down. Okay, you write it here. You write it yourself. Yeah. My eyes are so bad. Uh, write it yourself. Tell you for the you back no be some questions. No be say we na fi dem. Me ma test ni di. Na so no kwa di. O yare class ni gana phone me bi na. Mi de omo obre yi power sa si so. E wo se sembe we se wa wa nzem. 
Uh, okay, the, uh, that is that is on Scrabble Live with. Uh, okay. Uh, okay. Okay. That's my yeah. And Scrabble Live with Slee. Okay. So now I he- I heard that they have a different branch now. Others they chose because of now there was some fights. Mm-hmm. Others chose their own path. Mm-hmm. Others chose their own path. So now I think we have two shambles. Uh, so now it's, one, so now one. number one shambi, number two shambi. Yes. Okay. Yeah, that's what I know. Mm. So you are also going to heaven or your shambi is a different thing? My shambi? The church. They are also going to heaven. I, you know, shambi performs traditions, right? Uh, you said it's a clan. So, uh, you are allowed to perform mm-hmm. culture, tradition, ceremonies okay. and all that. Okay. So, I really don't, remember, I haven't been there for 20 years and my belief have just, it, it completely changed. That's mm-hmm. not how I see world now. That's not what I believe in. I don't even believe that I have to talk to my God through somebody. Mm-hmm. I don't believe in all of that. But, and now that my mom was buried uh, with, with the thing, with the cow skin, like for me, it doesn't make sense, but it made sense to her and we had to respect that. So I don't know if they go to hell or to heaven because those people, when it's Saturday, it's different. We don't wear shoes. A Konaba family, uh, they said they are going to follow your page. Thank you Auntie, so much. Auntie Bruni said yes, uh, she's going to follow your page. Thank you so much. I'll follow uh, back yours. Okay. Uh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. Th- I think those are, are the most topics that I'll be on about sex and polygamy and sex. other stuff, of course. I'm not going to be boxing myself, but I think those were my going to be my first priorities. Mm. Yeah. Afro Topica TV said a lot of people are mad in Africa. I know, right? <laughs> I know, right? I mean, there are things that we ex- we, were ex- we saw uh, people waking up in coffins, um, people eating grass, snakes, others they were dooming you. They say it's a, uh, for you to be blessed, they need to put doom on say, say, say they are called spiritual tabas. Spiritual taba. Okay, it's called spiritual taba. taba. Okay. So before you were, you were a spiritual taba. Me. Before. Me. Before. Because now you stopped, yes? But what is spiritual taba? Spiritual taba. I'm not saying, no, I was never part of people who, who eat uh, snakes and no, all No, no, I'm come, talking about the shame, shame is, or whatever. <sighs> My life with shame, mm. it's, 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 other parts are a bit blurry. Okay. Because I was still young, I mean, and it's 20 years ago. Mm. Other parts are blurry, but those are vivid to me. It's those that I was performing like your when we go in Klangi, because mm-hmm. it was nice meet, meeting other girls, okay. looking at each other's bums and all that, washing in the same river, flowing, singing, mm-hmm. and all of that. It was really nice. That one, I'm, I'm like, I know it as I know. Because, but other things that were happening in the church, I'm not aware of. And then the... the Rikus the, just read about you all this. They said, Shemesh region is a combination of Zulu culture and Christianity. Mm-hmm. Uh, so it's, it's fine. Mm-hmm. So before you wear a spiritual taba, okay. now it's fine. And now I don't go to church because no, there's fine. no church that I relate to. Okay. It's hard for me. Okay. Yeah, so. I was young for Eddie Edding Common this year. I didn't hear how my dad did me. In the BC, I was saying she's Zulu. Yeah, you said you are Zulu, so. Mm-hmm. Uh, but I, I don't call myself Zulu. I call myself Kosa because, as I said, that in my, in my culture, if your parents they were not married, mm-hmm. automatically you fall from your maternity part of the family. The maternal, by like origin, like if your parents were not married, you're not recognized on your father's side. Because as there are things that are they are performed when the child is born, so I was never introduced in my father's side. Because side, so I, yeah, I call myself a cause because I've. Everything that I know, it's from my mother's side. They're asking, is your podcast going to be in English? Yeah. Oh, oh you know why they're asking. Remember, when I was introducing, I, I was praising my clans, I was saying them in Kosa. Okay. Because when I started, I was like, Botan, in dun, 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 dun. so I was speaking, yes, it's going to be in... What is, what is bon, Botan? Botan? My name? Hello. 
No, botani it <laughs> botani it means hello. Ah, okay. Yeah, so, hello everyone. Botani da 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 da. Botani, botani. Di tsa pa yana I said botani ma Africa ma hle botani sizo sasekhaya sasemzansi Africa igama lami ndingusilindile wa kwani ufele intombi yomxhosa. Uma mpinga umbhalo kaqosho into umntwana ingabi nokuya ifuna bantwana ifuna abadala. Sibumbu umitha kanjani ubhoxakile phuma nibantwana nifuna udlala nonyoko. Okay. Yeah. So those are my praises and they are they are swearing it's swearing clan do you brief when you are speaking <laughs> yes mm. <laughs> when i'm saying my clan you know my clan it it, it curses a lot mm. all these things that i was saying it's curse ah yeah all this one is curses yeah 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 like it says cursing who it says umampinge it's my clan name okay so it says into yomntwana so it says a child's very jj should okay. start having a pubic hair it means that it doesn't want boys it wants men mm-hmm. that's what it says mm. and then it says kids get out i want to play with your mom mm. womb how do you get pregnant while you are upside down that's what it says mm. so it's kissing okay <laughs> yeah. but on your podcast is going to be english of course um mm. i i have i have american friends as well so remember my my line of work so yeah I see. Uh, <laughs> anyway, I will interview you personally. I will also interview you, okay, okay? okay. about um, the religion, I mean, Christianity, how you guys do your thing in South Africa. Okay. Um, you are in South Africa, so you can give me more information about that. I've been exposed to three churches in my life growing up. Mm-hmm. I was in, introduced as Yoni, where they... They, they using a drum and mm. then they wear yellow green what what they say you have spirits and then uh St. John's and Shembe mm. those ones I can share what I know yeah, yeah. I'll but interview you on that three no problem yeah so maybe no. next week no problem just watch it and then they ask me to so on your mama babs and then they ask me to but maybe you brought forward so on your closing remarks then we can uh, finish this whole in Zulu language, eh? What should I say? Uh, like a cool and bulela, it was a way on the palona and the attempt of Bazon Kissinger's or Kanya, Macbeth, the Hele, Titamaku, and Nangam Songa Pelili up, Diabulela. Diabuli, a girl, Lang, Lango, yes, that's it, eh? A bush and for said the Ayana, I know. It may be charming to be now. We mean I miss me to see him. They want to call it now or Yareka Krapa as an wedding. Spiritual taba and you see they want your taba be be the thing. But we try to interview next week. Next week I will interview you. It's fine. Eh? No problem. Okay. Now my interview, my busan and sorry me and Sana or so I called down. Said yes, it was South Africa. I know I can't get it. Then any of them do miss here. Or see a corner by is being cursed. Eh, you, you keep on cursing me. <laughs> Masa. I wasn't cursing you. I was praising my clan. That was my clan that I was praising. Ah, okay. When you ask one case, you want to do it. That's what I'm going to say. I'm going to say, 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 I'm going to and then I found what dom is unique laser whitening. Unique laser whitening, I will toothpaste from Kwan. So, what did you choose?